Grade 4 Math, number 24. Solve multi-step problems with equations and the order of operations. Order of operations? Yes. The order of operations tells you what order to do your equations. If you don't follow this order, you could get it marked wrong, and I'll show you how. So stick with me. But you need to figure out a way to remember PMDAS, parentheses, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Now in third grade, we just had multiply, divide, add, subtract. But now that you're in fourth grade and you're a little bigger, we're adding parentheses to the top. So whatever is in parentheses is what you're going to do first in the math problem. Then you're going to multiply, then you're going to divide, then you're going to add, and then you're going to subtract. Okay? So PMDAS, all right? PMDAS, that's the order of operations. So here we go. Emma sells candy bars for her school to raise money for new computers. One box holds 50, 15 candy bars. Well, there are eight boxes in each case, all right? So a box holds 15 candy bars. In a case, there's eight boxes, okay? How many bars are in a case? Oh, and now if there's 15 in a box and there's eight boxes in a case, we need to do 15 eight times. So 15 bars times the eight boxes is 15 times eight. 15 times eight equals N, equals the number of candy bars in the case. So let's do this. Eight times five is 40. We carry the four and put the zero down. Eight times one is eight, plus 4 is 12. So that means there's 120 candy bars in a case. Okay? Okay. 120 candy bars in a case. Alright? We need to remember that because it's important. If Emma sold two cases and three boxes, how many bars did she sell? Alright? So remember, there's 120 bars in a case, there's 15 bars in a box, all right? She sold two cases, we need to do 120 bars times the two cases she sold. And then she also sold three boxes. And remember, there's 15 bars in a box, so we need to do 15 times the three boxes she sold, okay? Then we need to add these two together, don't we, to get the complete total. So. The equation would be 120 times 2, all right, that's the 120 times 2, plus 15 times 3 equals n. That's our equation, okay? So let's do the 120 times 2. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. So there's 240 candy bars. Now we need to do the three boxes she sold. 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1 and put the 5 down. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. So now we have 240 plus 45. 240 plus 45 is 285 bars sold in all. So n is equal to 285. All right? Now, what would have happened if we didn't do the order of operations correctly and we just did the math going straight across, let's see what would happen. 120 times 2, well, we know that's 240. So right here we're at 240. Plus 15. 240 plus 15 is 255. So now we're at 255 here times 3. 255 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 5 is 15 plus the 1 is 16. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 765? But we know the answer is 285. Ooh, because we just went straight across and we didn't do order of operations, we got the wrong answer. We were supposed to multiply these two together and multiply these two together and then add them because you multiply and then add. 
You can't just go straight across. You'll get 700 and something. That's not the right answer. The right answer is 285. All right, let's try another one. I'm going to use the order of operations, okay? Parentheses, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Now, if there are no parentheses, then you multiply. If there's no division, then you just go multiply, add, or subtract, and you just skip the one that's not there. So don't worry if one of the steps is missing. You just skip it and go to the next one, okay? So, here we have no parentheses, do we? So, we just skip that one. Is there multiplication? Yes. So now we can multiply. 4 times 3, what's 4 times 3? 12. Now there's an addition sign, but there's another multiplication sign. But we're supposed to multiply before we do any adding, see? So now we need to multiply this. 5 times 6 is 30. Now there's a subtraction sign. Oh, but it says you got to add before you can subtract. So we must have to add the 12 plus the 30 together. What's 12 and 30? 0 and 2 is 2, and the 3 and the 1 is 4. 12 plus 30 is 42. Now can we subtract? Yes, that's the last thing we can do. So we're going to subtract 7 from this. Can you have 2 and take 7 away? Nope. So we got to borrow from the 4. It becomes a 3, and the 2 becomes a 12. 12 take away 7 is 5, and we drop down the 3. So that means n is equal to 35. Okay? What would have happened if we did it straight across? We know the true answer is 35 by following order of operations. So now let's try it without doing order of operations and just going straight across, and let's see what would happen. 4 times 3 is 12, so now we're right here and we've got 12, plus 5. 12 plus 5 is 17. So now we're right here and we've got 17. 17 times 6. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 4 is 10. So that's 102. So now we're here and we have 102. Now it says to take away 7. 102 minus 7. Well, you can't have 2 and take 7 away. So we need to borrow it from the 10. It becomes a 9, and the 2 becomes a 12. 12 take away 7 is 5, and we drop the 9 down, and that gives us 95. That's not the right answer. See how it got messed up because we just went straight across? Ooh, that's all wrong. you got to do the multiplication first, see? Then you add, then you subtract, okay? Let's try it again. <gasps> Look, we've got parentheses. So we're going to do what's in the parentheses first, all right? And then we're going to multiply. But look, it is multiplication, so we can do it. Isn't that great? 2 times 64. 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 6 is 12. So this one right here is 128. Now we've got to do this parentheses, 4 times 23. 4 times 3 is 12. We carry the 1 and put the 2 down. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So we know this parentheses is 92. Okay, we multiplied. There is no division, so we can skip that one. All right? Then it says to add and then subtract. So we're supposed to add this group to this group, the 128 to the 92. See? Supposed to add those two together. 128 plus 92. We'll just use this one. 8 plus 2 is 10. We carry over the 1 and put the 0 down. 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 1 more is 12. And 1 and 1 is 2. So we have 220. So this plus this is 220. Now it says to subtract 15. 220 minus 15. We can't have 0 and take 5 away, so we have to borrow it from the 2. It becomes a 1, and that 0 becomes a 10. 10 take away 5 is 5, and 1 take away 1 is 0, and we drop down the 2, and we have 205. See that? 
So n equals 205. Just make sure that you follow the order of operations because you don't want to get a wrong answer like we showed. If you just try going straight across, it is not going to be right. you got to do what's in the parentheses, then multiply, divide, then add, subtract. P-M-D-A-S. When you get to fifth grade, there's going to be a thing in between parentheses and multiply called an exponent. But we're not doing that in fourth grade. We'll do that next year. For right now, just worry about the P-M-D-A-S, okay? I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. Bye.